Hi everybody, welcome back to my KonMari series. This is my back cabinet, which I talked about in my KonMari update. And if you can see behind me, it is some chaos. There was some organization to it a while ago, but as I've gone through other areas of my home, this organization is not working anymore and it's become kind of a pile. So this is what we're gonna tackle. This countertop. that shelf and that shelf and that shelf and I really am not sure what is here anymore I remember what was supposed to be here but it has shuffled around so we're gonna start pulling it out and go from there okay so here on the countertop this is our hammock and we pull it down when it's windy outside or at night because if it gets windy at night our whole hammock will take off this is stuff that needs to go, it's my husband's tools. Anyway, out to the garage, husband's tools. This goes in my laundry thing. This is some mending I need to do. Got some dress pants I've got to get back to, or sent to my son. So, oh my, this is a wedding gift. These are little Legos that my son can earn as he's working on Quitting a bad habit of sucking his thumb, our landscape plans, diffuser, paint, candles, plant fertilizer. This has flashlights and here, let's just pull it down here. My diffuser box, yard fixing things. More glow-in-the-dark stars. I didn't know we still had those. See? Treasures! Spider traps! I need to pull everything out of all my little bins that I've organized things in and just recategorize, reorganize them so they can be found. So that's what I will do and then I'll give you a... This is the pile. Alright, here's the pile all on the counter. I started sorting already. So this tote has, I don't know what, it's not really a tote. It's a dish pan. Anyway, dishwashing pan that I got like at the dollar store or something. So, all the batteries and the flashlights are going to go in here. That's what's going to go in that one. So, there's just all kinds of things here. Little knick-knacky things, umbrellas. Just this. Oh, command hooks. We saw the spider traps already. Box for my diffuser, some drawer and shelf liner, a pad for our bike seat. It's in like an infant bike seat and I'm not sure if I even have it anymore so I need to look. If I do I need to put this with it and give it to someone to use. So yeah, various, various stuff. This was from my cleaning closet that I have not gotten out with my husband's stuff yet, so I need to do that. So I'm going to start sorting things, deciding what to keep, what not to keep. Here's my two other dish pans. And then I will give you an update. These are all gift things that I have. I'll see a good deal on something and I'll grab it. This is a wedding gift. This tower of containers is a wedding gift that we need to give get delivered we missed the celebration but we did get a gift so anyway that is how it is looking there that's my laundry sorting right there so back to the pile all right here's the gift stuff so obviously the wedding gift we need to return I'll be keeping I just kept two of these baskets with the cloths I give these just as a, a roll basket and then the cloth to cover them. Um, these I will be parting with. And then in the gift basket I just kept the, the little gift things that I figured I would be using. And these linens I'm going to put with my seasonal linens uh, for that. So my Christmas tablecloths and my Thanksgiving tablecloths. I've got a basket in my pantry for those. And that's where these are going to go. And then... These are going to become rags, towels, and this um, we're, I'm going to put with my 
sewing stuff. I've got a box with ribbons in it. I'll put that with the, with the ribbons because it's something we can use as an embellishment on something we sew or for to make hair clips. So that's where they're going. And then this pink t-shirt and blue t-shirt, same thing. I have some um, t-shirts down there that we, you know, we paint, we tie dye, whatever. So I'm putting those with my paint to take down to my sewing room. And that is the Okay, so for the summer, our hammock is going to stay right here, leaned against this little spot. It's close to the back door, so we can hang it up when we need to. Here's the batteries and the flashlights. Some of these aren't opened, but that's where they're going to go. Uh, here's the box that will have our light bulbs and our spider traps and some command hooks which I probably will be using soon because I need some hooks in my pantry and then this umbrella and the ice scraper I'm keeping here it's a long story but basically every car has what they need right now but we're looking at buying a new car um, because we have a son who's getting ready to drive so I'm going to keep those because we'll use those in the, that car. This bin has the reward things for my son who's um, needing those as he's working on breaking his habit of sucking his thumb. So there's not a lot in there, but that's what's going to be there. And then these are our plans for our landscape. And these are the rough ones that are all torn up that we take out when we're actually working on it. So I'm keeping them. And then... This did not actually work. It was too long to go in my cabinet. So I used this basket and I put all our insect repellent and our sunscreen in it. The plant fertilizer is right here. And so now this shelf liner also needs to find a new home and it'll be going with these organizing items for when I need them. So now to put all of this back in the cupboard in such a way that it makes sense that we can you know like the most frequently used items on the bottom shelf and the less frequently used items on the top shelf so right now it's empty it's wiped out and now I'm gonna start filling it and I'll give you a peek at what that is when I get them okay it's all put back so I'm leaving this out so I can get it sent to the happy couple uh, this dish pan is empty. These are empty. Didn't need these items as well. Then up here I put our flashlights and our batteries right here. We seem to grab them the most. The plans are just kind of in the back because we pull them out and in all the time. Diffuser is there. I'm not using it a lot right now so this is a good place for it. In the winter time in the spring I use it more and in the fall. Summer I just don't seem to use it as much but those other seasons I use it and it just lives on my kitchen counter. Here's the basket with the insect repellent, the sunscreen, the plant fertilizers in the back. This is the dish pan with the gifts in it. They're kind of heaped but that's alright by me. Here's the, the little treats for my son. Just slid right there in between and then this is the bin with the light bulbs and things in it. That leaves the top shelf empty, nothing in it, so it's nice to see that extra space sitting up there that could be used, utilized if need be. So that takes care of my dreaded cabinet and it really wasn't near as difficult as I thought. And somebody wants me on the phone, so I'm gonna go now. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this. Leave a comment. Tell me how you store your odds and ends things, where you put them and how you contain them and how many you keep around. And as always, subscribe so you don't miss out on a single video. Thanks everybody.